but we'll kick off the evening with our Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Player of the Week. Let's take a look at that poll. Now, Bowling Green quarterback Eli Brown earned 17% of the votes. His five touchdowns helped the Bobcats to their 49-10 win over Northview in week two. Just over 4% separated our second and third place finishers on this week's poll. St. Francis Jr. Dominic Arnold and Perrysburg running back Connor Waldenzak were a close 3-2 punch. But we stay in the track for our week two winner of player of the week, Central Catholic's Prentice Reasonover nabs the coveted football after earning 37.9% of the votes. Brennis, congratulations on being the BCN Charlie's Dodge Player of the Week for your performance against St. John's. Thank you, Coach. I appreciate the opportunity of uh, being the Player of the Week this week. He was first to shout out his offensive line, thanking them for blocking for him this week. The senior running back helped lead the Irish to their 16th straight track victory. Reason over tallied 178 yards and five touchdowns in Central's 49-42 win over St. John's. He says it's a game he'll remember forever. I seen it in college. Uh, somebody did it in college. I was like, I like the idea. If I ever score that much, I'm going to do it. But um, it felt really good scoring five touchdowns. Like coming in, I really thought I was going to score like three, two or three, have my team and uh, help my team out. But coming in, I know how to put the team on back, so I just had – I just said, keep going, keep going, keep fighting. It's the best game I ever played. I never, I never scored five touchdowns in my game, in my uh, career. Playing for 13 years, I always scored like two or three, but five feel amazing. I was about to go for six, but my body started cramping, so I was like, you know, I would just give it to one of my uh, my young my young people, let them score, and see how I, uh, see the feeling, see the feeling of t uh, scoring a big night. It's phenomenal, especially that second half to get the ground game going. You know, we, had the, we were throwing the ball a lot in the first half, and uh, we knew they were going to pack the box, so we, we tried to get a passing game going. We had a few turnovers, but we bounced back from that. But when you get that ground game going in the second half and to be able to eat up about four minutes at the end of the game and cap it off with another touchdown, uh, uh, that, that's how you win games like that when it, at this time of year. My offensive line, I got to thank them first for holding on blocks, uh, getting me where I need to be. Definitely my uh, wide receivers, catching balls, getting them downfield, and uh, giving me an opportunity to score. Um, I'm thankful for the whole team for uh, getting a stop and getting us uh, possession of the ball so I can uh, get where I need to be and score the touchdown. He is an outstanding young man. I mean, he dealt with a lot of nagging injuries the first half of last season. You know, going into last year, he had a couple, you know, had a couple MAC offers and things like that. And then the season starts out with a, a nagging injury here, then a second one, and then a third one. And he really didn't get on track till the second half of the season and in our run into the playoffs. And uh, you know, that's tough for any kid to go through when you're going through it, going through it. And to see him bounce back this year and start off the way he has is just great. And we're hoping for more out of him and our offensive line. My mentality always. Three, three to four yards every every carry. Um, I don't always think about the end zone, but if I know if I can make it, I know I just give him the ball. I I score the end zone. Uh, I score the touchdown. But um, my mentality is three to four yards. Get the first down. Move on to the next play, and uh, keep on going down the field. 